Hey, Jack. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Just got back from Fiji. It was such a cool experience. That was my first time surfing out there. And, yeah, we got lucky. We saw a swell on the mountain, striked it, me and Joao and, and the boys, and it was amazing. I heard rumblings Fiji was going to be back on tour, but we were just going there because the waves were going to be good and, and go have a good time. I can't believe I haven't come here before. <laughs> Tell us all about Zhao Xianka, because you guys just surfed off for fourth and fifth at the final. Joao's super cool. He's one of the younger guys pushing everybody on tour, and especially when the waves get bigger. He's one of those guys that he's going to push you to another level, and um, he's like a little kid when the waves are good. He's, uh, you know, when you get him by himself out there, me and him, we were so excited. We were just feeding off each other's energy. Tell us about the wave. Is it as good as it looks? I always wondered about this. Like, how good is it? Like, I remember Parker was telling me a long time ago, he's like, you can get so deep in the barrel. It feels like you can be so far behind and still make it out and be behind the foam board. Yeah, it's true. Like, I got some waves where I was like, oh, I'm really deep here. And then I looked at the footage and went, oh, I could have even been deeper. Like, you can come from so far behind and sit right next to the foam board and still make sections that you think are impossible in a way. Are you kidding? Oh, wow. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Is that guy? Guy. No, oh, it's still training. Wow. Yeah, we're out there. Right, guys. Right. So Kyle Lenny showed up. I didn't even know he was coming. And the waves are pumping the first morning. And, of course, I see Kai. He's just doing it all. Just... Kyle Lenny stuff, so it was cool. We had some really good sessions together though. We, he was, yeah, good vibes in the lineup between us, so it was, uh, it was cool to share it with those guys. You could easily ride a 6 6 out there this morning, even. It's like a normal shortboard in these waves. Never be afraid of a bigger board. It's one of the biggest mistakes of young rookies that they make they take a small board. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's crazy how perfect it stays and it just scales up. But like you can still surf it at any size. I feel like it just will handle as big as a swell gets and there's really no other waves like that in the world. I feel like Chofu maxes out a bit. The water moves a bit too fast because it's a shallow reef, whereas Cloud Break feels a bit more like a deep water wave. And it's and still a slab, but it still sucks up a lot, but it's a bit more, it's a bit deeper, the wave. I feel like the reefs are a bit, a bit deeper, so it's, yeah. Just you and Yago are thick as thieves. His dad's your coach. You travel together, and now you're um, competing for titles together. Yago and, and and his dad, I travel with them on tour during the year. Yeah, we're really close, and we always have a good time when we go on these trips together. Like, yeah, I'm just so stoked to be going on a trip with him again. He's always, you know, he's always good vibes. He's a mellow guy, but just really pushes hard in the water. Really good in the barrel too. Yeah, I think he's got one of the coolest styles out of all the guys from Brazil. Like, he's he's my favorite guy. Like, just his style and everything, the way the way he surfs. How excited are you to surf Cloud Break on tour next year? I'm pumped actually, that's on tour. It's meant to be on tour and especially, it's just one of those world-class waves and it has to be, you know, on the tour and um, yeah, I actually, I just hopefully we get really good waves and they have a really good heat out there. A bunch of good heats actually. Restaurants, tell us about that. Restaurants, I only had one good wave out there, but it's just the best setup though. Like you have the resort right there, you can watch it. And then, oh, I'm gonna go out and surf and just cruise. And then you can just go have a crazy one. So that was fun. Yeah, this trip to Fiji fulfilled everything. I, I didn't really go there with too many expectations around how the place would be. I've always heard it was amazing, but just to go there and experience it, I think everyone has to go and feel that place. As soon as you get off the plane there, it has a certain energy about it. Like, I feel like Tahiti, Hawaii, all those Pacific islands especially. It's incredible. It's uh, the people, the waves. Yeah, there's no, there's, it's just unique. It's, um, it's one of those unique places in the world. And I'd love to go back and do it all. Jack Robinson, Fiji, two thumbs up. Oh, two thumbs up and 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, mate. Thank you. Appreciate it.